Hello everyone and welcome to another Real Real update. It is finally here, even though it's been literally a month since I sent this stuff off, but that's how long they've taken. And actually one thing's not even listed yet, and I'll show you that. So that's why this has taken so long, because I wanted everything that they accepted to be listed so I could show you the pictures and stuff, but I am so tired of waiting, and this will show you that the Real Real is not always on top of their game, and sometimes they can be a little frustrating. So let's dive into it. So today we're going to go through the second shipment of things that I send to the Real Real, and we are also going to look at what I covered in the last update to see what has sold and what's happened with that stuff. And yeah, let's just take a peek now, shall we? Okay. So first, we've got this Tory Burch sleeveless scoop neck top. Now this is the demon behind the slow pace that this has taken. This embellished whatever, like, huge sequin front tank top that you saw in the packing up video has not been listed yet, not been priced, the pictures are not up. Literally I looked back and I posted that video on January 31st and it is now March 6th or 7th. So this is pretty crazy that this has not been listed yet. Um, they've accepted it though, black and brown tarp birch sleeveless scoop neck top with sequin embellishments at front, in very good condition. Hello, I don't know. They've listed everything else, so. <clears throat> they did not take the Saks Fifth Avenue jacket because of interior staining. I'll tell you what that interior staining is. It was a red dot on the um, label. So, also, another thing about the Real Real that I have found out is that some of their sorters or whatever, the people that go through your consignment, some are a lot pickier than others because I know for a fact they've taken things with a dot on the label before. So, it seems like every other time I get the picky person and every other time I get the person that is a lot more accepting. This time was the picky person. Because NSF, knitwear, not on current designer list. Um, I've sent them NSF before and they've taken it. There's a lot of NSF on their website. NSF is expensive and I think decently popular. So, okay. Um, the Sonia Rykel collared long sleeve jacket they did take. They priced that at $225. And yeah, decent looking pictures. Sonia Rykel is extremely expensive, so that price is not too shocking to me. Maroon Sonia Raquel jacket with crew neck, long sleeves, and button closure at front. Very good condition. <clears throat> and that'll get 60% on because it's over $200, I think it is. Also, I sent this stuff in before they started their new percentage, which is 40% for anything under $150. So I'm still getting 50% on these things if they're under $150. So next we've got this White Warren knit sleeveless sweater. They I've sent White and Warren a few times. Ryan has also. They always take White and Warren. Usually it sells pretty fast, but maybe because it's we're exiting winter, maybe. Well, I mean, should be exiting winter. Definitely not here though. Um, but yeah, gray, white plus Warren knit sleeveless sweater with snap closure at front, and it's wool and rayon and in very good condition. Christian Dior jackets didn't take it because it's over 10 years old. Now that's weird because I've had them take many a thing over 10 years old. They just label it vintage. I've had vintage Burberry, I've had vintage Christian Dior, and they've always taken it. Okay, picky lady, whatever. Vince Knitwear. Shh. Not on current designer list. Okay, I know that, but you've taken it quite a few times for me, and it always sells pretty quick, but all right. And last but not least, the Lafayette 148 Virgin Wool Lightweight Jacket, which they took, and that's not surprising either. I don't know if Lafayette's on their list. I kind of feel like it might not be, but okay. Very unpredictable over there at the Real Real. That was listed for $95. Green Lafayette 148 Virgin Wool Lightweight Jacket with jabbit collar and hook and eye closure at front. If anyone knows 
what a jabbit collar is. Please let me know. We have now noticed that the real real likes to use those bougie terminologies like neck instead of boatneck and jabbit collar. But yeah, let's go through and see if anything has sold from the last update. So that included this stuff. Um, Hot Hippie hasn't sold. Theory Cashmere Knit sweater has not sold. Theory Long Sleeve Button Up Top did sell. The Cupcakes in Cashmere has not sold. And look at that. They took that coupon restriction off of it. I didn't notice that, but huh. I guess they can just edit that whenever they want. Didn't know that. Okay. Theory Scoop Neck has not sold. The M. Missoni skirt has not sold. The Vince Batow neck has sold. The Tanya Taylor knee length pencil skirt with tags has not. The Alice and Olivia plaid long sleeve has not. The Vince open front medium weight cardigan has sold. So, oh, and the Vince snug sleeveless top has sold. So all three Vince have sold, but they don't want to take it. Why? That's weird, but okay. The Weekend Max Mara scoop neck has not sold, and the Vince Woven Peep Toe Sandals have not sold either. So, yeah, that is the real, real update. Um, it's kind of disappointing when you get the picky person who goes through because you've waited all this time, and then you open the app, and you just see that everything has been declined. Um, there's literally times that I've sent, like, 50 things in and, like, three will be accepted. I mean, there's times where I'll send, like, 30 things in, only, like, five are on the designer list, and everything's accepted. So, I got no, like, strict always applies advice for you. Like, it's kind of a hit or miss. Can't really guarantee anything. But, yeah, you can always send stuff back. I do it quite often, so... Thank you for watching this update. Sorry that it took so long. Blame it on Tori Birch. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Have a good Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and whatever. Um, hopefully we'll see you on Saturday for a What's Old Saturday, because Ryan and I are going to be in Ames, which usually allows us more time to film. So we'll probably have a What's Old Saturday. But yeah, thank you for watching, and goodbye.